Okay, so we're ready to get started on our next project in our home gym. My turn. We've been talking about what to do with this blank wall for a couple of weeks now. We officially have a yoga mat stand and a crumpled up piece of paper, so what? what's the plan? Okay, so for the next project, we're going to make shelving for this big wall in our home gym. It's going to be shelving meets art, because we're going to make some designs in different shapes with the shelving. To get started, we printed out a picture of the wall so that we can draw the shapes of the shelves that we plan on doing. So I'm going to take some tape and tape off the shapes, and Courtney's going to help me keep it straight and accurate to the drawing. We're going to see how well I do for the home of last time. Now that we got the layout of the shelves taped up on the wall, I'm going to take measurements and Courtney will write them down. That way we can go to the store and buy the wood and not get the one we're not having enough. Yeah, the right so size. So one of the exact sizes we need to go buy at the store. Perfect. This, this is the good stuff. We're at the store getting wood for our shelves. Yeah, I'm gonna need. Some, I'm gonna have to have some help getting this big guy. All right, so we're picking this this piece because it doesn't have any knot, and the layers are a nice even thickness. So when we stack two sheets together, all the layers will look even. Stay tuned for our shelving project, and we're here in the shop cutting down these big boards into the pieces we we'll use for our shelves. Each side of the shelf is going to be made up of two boards laminated together with some wood glue. So we're going to clamp them together and let the glue dry before assembling the rest of the shelves. Alright, one down, a bunch more to go. All the boards are glued together and we're going to use the miter saw to cut the boards down to size at a 45 degree angle so they can go together like a picture frame. We used a backing board to prevent tear out. This is the kind of cut we're going for. I apply glue to each corner. I want enough that it can squeeze between the two boards, but not so much that a ton's gonna squeeze out from the side, then I have to clean it up. With the ratchet strap centered on the boards and the clamp over the scrap boards, I can start tightening it together and basically I'm just want each of these seams to be as close and even as possible so I can kind of shift the boards a little bit before it's totally tightened to make them all nice and even and then give it one or two last tugs to make it all nice and square and tight. Now that we have all these shelves glued together, we need to finish this larger shelf that's going to be split by these two other shelves. So what we've done is glue up a large shelf and then I'm going to take it on the miter saw and cut it here and here and here and here and then glue it to these two existing shelves. Alright, I just finished cutting this. I'm gonna see how strong this joint is just to prove that the glue is pretty strong. So I'll see how I can pull it apart. That's a good thing <clears throat> though, right? Yeah, that's a good thing. Since I'm stronger than Brent, this is gonna be the real test. We have the shelf layout assembled and it's ready to be glued and clamped together. So I'm gonna take each joint and add some glue and then clamp two at a time and then I'll wait for those to set up and then glue the other two. We got all of our shelves glued together and now we're ready to get them up on the wall. We're going to mark all the studs on the wall using blue tape and then mark on the shelf where we need to drill holes for the screws.
right, let's see if we can hit some studs. That one's definitely in. The screws that go into the studs are gonna sit about half an inch down into the wood, so I wanna measure the depth of my drill bit to fit that. So I use some painter's tape to mark the depth so all the holes will be the same. To anchor each shelf into the wall, we decided to add a pocket hole screw, at least one to each shelf. So I'm gonna add it to this one and then we'll be good. The shelves are built and we have them secured on the wall. Now it's time to put some decor items on it. I went shopping and picked up some fun things and I'm excited to get them up on the wall. The shelves are all styled and we're finished. I love how they turned out and I think they're a great addition to our home gym. If you want to see more detailed steps about this project, be sure to stop by our blog, studiogreathouse.com. And if you like this video, check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.